This is the Leica EM KMR2 glass knife maker. Using this instrument, we will be able to take a 400 millimeter long glass strip and break it into 25 millimeter glass knives. Before using this or any other equipment in the lab, be sure to read the safety sheet and always make sure to use good lab practices. It's important to always make sure that we properly protect ourselves. For this instrument, we'll be using protective eyewear. In addition, we'll also be using protective gloves. The reason for these are that the breaking of the glass can cause splinters, which can cut the skin. And in addition, the glass knives that are created have sharp edges, so it's important to make sure that we protect ourselves from being cut by the glass. This is one of the 400 millimeter pieces of glass that we're going to be using to create our glass knives. Now there are three steps in the process of making these glass knives. The first, we're going to take this piece of glass and we're going to break it in half multiple times to create a 25 millimeter square piece of glass. Once we have that, we're going to take that square and we're going to create a break down the center and we're going to create two glass knives from that procedure. After that's done, we're going to mount a trough against the cutting edge of the glass knife that's created, and that's going to allow us to collect our samples after they've been sectioned in the microtome. Now we're ready to make glass knives. We have our 400 millimeter piece of glass, and first thing we're going to do is check four things on the instrument. We're going to make sure that the clamping lever is facing the back of the machine. We're going to make sure the braking lever is fa facing the back of the machine. We'll make sure that our scoring shaft is all the way back into the machine. And we're also going to make sure that our movable stop is in its first position, all the way to the left side of the instrument. What we'll do is we'll take our 400 millimeter piece of glass, and we're going to place it on the instrument. Once we do that, we'll take our rotatable knob, located on the left side of the instrument, and turn it towards us. What this does is it locks the piece of glass into place and it also makes sure that it is horizontal to the plane. At this point, we're ready to perform our first break. What we're going to do is we're going to take our clamping lever and we're going to turn it so that it is horizontal to the desk and facing us. Once that is done, we're going to take the rotatable knob and we're going to turn it back to the back of the machine and that's going to release it from the side of the glass. Now the glass is held in place by the clamping head. What we do next is we take our scoring shaft and we quickly and evenly pull it out towards us. That's going to create a score in the glass that's going to be used to break it. Once we make our score with the scoring shaft, the next step is to break the glass. To do this, we take our breaking lever and we slowly start to turn it towards us. So the next thing we're going to do is turn back the braking lever and we're going to lift the clamping head by holding under the scoring shaft and slowly bringing up the, cl the clamping lever. What we're left with are two 200 millimeter pieces of glass. The piece that was on the right is what we're going to continue to use to make the knives. So what we need to do here is move our movable stop to the next stop point on the, uh, the front stop. And we're going to take the piece of glass from the right side and place it back onto the instrument. Now what we're going to do with this, again, is just repeat the steps that we previously did. We're going to turn the rotatable knob to lock it into place. We're going to make sure that the scoring shaft is pushed back into the instrument. And then we're going to slowly lower the clamping lever down again to lock this piece of glass into place. We'll turn the rotatable knob back again to make sure that the clamping lever is the only thing holding it. And again, we'll score the glass quickly and evenly. And then turn the braking lever and break this piece of glass. We're going to repeat this procedure two more times until we're left with only one 25 millimeter square of glass.
we finished taking our 400 millimeter piece of glass and turning it into a 25 millimeter square. Now the next thing that we're going to do is take this square and split it diagonally to form two knife blades. We need to make sure that our movable stop is again located all the way at its first position. And the next thing we're going to do is take our piece of glass and instead of laying it flat against the front edge, we're going to turn it diagonal. When examining the two knives created from the break, it's very difficult at first to tell which side is the cutting edge and which side is the knife shoulder. If we look carefully at this blade on the left, we can see a flat edge. That signifies that that's not the cutting edge of this blade. If we look at this blade on the right, we see that that little edge is not there. That is the cutting edge and that means that's the edge we're going to use to cut our sections using the microtome. Once we've determined which side is the cutting edge of this knife, we're going to need to attach a trough to the cutting edge. This is going to be used to collect the sections as they come off the microtome. So what we do is we take our trough and on the back of it we apply a little bit of nail polish. Now the nail polish is used because it's going to quickly dry and allow it to bind to the glass. Once the trough is stuck to the glass, we're going to take the nail polish again and we're carefully going to apply it to the outside of the trough and the glass. We're going to let this set and after it's finished we'll be ready to use it for sectioning. When we're done using the machine it's important to make sure we clean up um, to get rid of any glass splinters that might have formed uh, from the breaking of the glass. So what we're going to use is just a paintbrush and we're going to carefully brush off any glass pieces or splinters that might be on the machine. After we finish that, we're ready to close it down. So we'll take the plastic cover for the instrument and we're going to place it over the instrument to protect it from dust or anything else that might be in the lab. For any information about the lab's instruments or capabilities, please visit our website at bcts.bergen.org/nsil.